Hey guys, it's Roth the Golem, and welcome back to Life is Strange. As you can see, Max is doing her I have to pee dance, and I don't blame her because it's pouring rain outside right now. But we have no time to worry about that, because at the end of the last episode, we all ran out to the girls' dorm room because something is going down, and I guarantee it's Kate up on there she is. Kate up on the roof. No! Oh god. I, I have to be Um. She can't die. She can't. Okay, rewinding time. Oh, jeez. The... Not again. Not now. Come on, no. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Alright, how far back can we go? Oh, God. We, we can't go any further back. Wait, did we freeze time? We did. Holy crap. Oh God! Can do it. I'm actually holding time in place. Excuse me, Birdie. Everybody, get out of my way. What am I gonna be supposed to do? Catch her? There's no way I'm making it up onto the rooftop. Oh God. Oh, David, if you hadn't gone after her. So what now? Wait, can I go inside? Yep, to go to the roof. Jeez, I am going to try to make it to the roof. Wow. Okay. Yes. Max is going to, like, freaking hemorrhage out of her brain if she's not careful. Alright, so... Call her name. Say something. Do something. Don't just stand there. Say her name. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Uh, okay, yeah, you matter, not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I'm not going to be able to rewind this, I know I'm not. That. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Uh... Yeah, uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm here for you. Okay. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. All right, Kate, I'm talking it down, please sweet. trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Oh, God. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? No. Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Don't do it. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh, God. Be strong. Kate, this is our 
our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. Nice. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Oh, thank Forever. God. Can we hug on it? Please step down. No. Please don't slip. Nobody cares wait, about me. Wait, what? Nope. No. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, no, don't talk about the mother. Don't talk about the father. Um, she had sisters. Yes, she had sisters. Your sisters do. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Yes, yes, use that. Come on, step, just step down. The, oh god. Oh boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Yikes. That... That escalated quickly. Hoo-hoo. Oh, boy. Well, now, if things weren't serious enough... Difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. Why is Warren there? Are we going to drop the dime finally? Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Oh, boy. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, She's just reprimanding everybody for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oh boy. Um. Oh god. No matter who I go after? Oh god. Uh, you know what? Mr. Jefferson is our friend. Dave is actually acting nice. Nathan's really the only true asshole I've come across. I don't have any proof, though. Oh, well, here we go. YOLO. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her, and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. <laughs> Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. Oh yeah, sure I'd you like are. to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. <sighs> but I think I can use my power again. 
You know what? Uh, there's no one else I wanted to throw under the bus, but... Can I go all the way back? I have a feeling I'm still going to end up being with... Like, petting it on Nathan, but still. I honestly didn't think that covering for Chloe and, you know, lying about Nathan would have actually led me to be under this much scrutiny. But hey, what can you do? Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you huh. gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Oh, for the love now, of God. Do you have anything else to say? I regret my life. Excuse me. Caulfield, please. And we're going all the way back again. I really don't want to throw Mr. Jefferson under the bus, but I want to at least see what the outcome is. Even here, he's the only one who's standing up for me. But now I wish I had taken that picture and actually dropped the dime on Ms. Nathan. Caulfield, but who knows what would have exactly happened as a result of it. On the roof with Kate Marsh? Here's the thing, though. They keep talking about with this game especially that all your decisions have repercussions on what will happen in the future. So, like they said, it seemed like the good idea at the time to, you know, make the decisions I made. But obviously now I'm in a really difficult spot. So, maybe making this difficult decision will make my life easier in the future. I don't know. But I I've... saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate... Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. What the hell? There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here. Wow. Okay, yeah, so I like my original decision like before. Um, Mr. Jefferson shouldn't be punished. Like, he seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, I don't want to make an enemy out of David, so yeah, dropping the dime on Warren. Even if people don't believe me, I still have, you know, Chloe to back me up. Kate can back me up on David. So, that's what I'm going to hope for. Alright, so Warren did this, that, the other thing, yada yada. Let's keep going. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Yeah, I know. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. Yep. I'll have to investigate. It's me. Caulfield, please sign. I'm going to have to sign. Nathan it is. Hopefully my friends will be enough to back me up. Even Chloe's mom well, knows I it wasn't mine. We less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. <laughs> Trust me, friend, you don't want the power. You can't handle that power. Ugh. You know, if I had just been honest and done, like, the right thing, maybe pissed Kate off with that photograph, and just, you know, I would have, would have been fine for this point. But I wonder, though, if I had failed to talk Kate down, would she have ended up jumping? I couldn't believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. 
and then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Is it snowing again? No, the it's an eclipse. This weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. The temperature dropped too? I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. You know, I'm kind of amazed that they wouldn't talk to like other people about the events that were going on. Like, you know, obviously I have both Warren and Chloe to back me up on not Warren, on Nathan. Yeah, I have Warren and Chloe to back me up on Nathan. I well Chloe against David really can't go well, but I have Kate to back me up. I have my guess you could say Chloe's white uh mother, but no. Nope, she loves him too much. She won't defend me. Like, obviously, she does care about him, and he does care about her. I just don't think he knows the proper way to go about doing it. There's Mr. Jefferson. What's he doing? Jefferson and the principal. Why is Jefferson upset with the principal? At least he seems that way. I don't know. Maybe he's not. Victoria? Why are you crying? Oh, Nathan, you ass. Okay, so they they actually seem like they're somewhat human in that picture, but what's going on? Like, does she actually feel remorse over what happened? That's the... Whoa, wait. Is that the, the guy who took our gun? Yes, it is. Okay. I don't remember his name, but whatever. He has our gun. Jerk. And there's Kate, still alive. Which really raises the question, could Kate have possibly died? Like, I, the game even said I was unable to rewind time again. So if I had, like, just been such, like, a bitch to Kate... Or if I hadn't been, you know, able to say the right things, would she have eventually jumped? What's up with cl uh? Sorry, Kate. I hope you're okay. This clip freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. I can't tell if she's happy about that idea or if she really doesn't believe I'm still her friend. Like I've. Admittedly, some of the decisions I made have put a lot of doubt on the friendship that I have with Chloe. So, I don't know if she trusts me or not. Yeah, okay, so now we get to see a little bit more of this. Or nothing at all. Oh, here we go. What do we have? What's going on? Oh, boy. Huh. Kate's okay, the next one. So, yeah, like, we were right. There is a connection between Kate and Rachel. Or at least with what, what's, you know, happened with Rachel and potentially what will happen with Kate. So, wow. Okay. That chapter seemed to be a little bit quicker than it was in the uh, the first chapter, but it was still really interesting. But like I said, like, things are not nearly as black and white as they felt like in the first chapter, which I love, actually. You know, the decisions all seem to be pretty cut and dry, at least for me. Like, I took the moral high ground on certain things. I kept some things a secret. Because I was, you know, trying to protect myself and protect others. But now... 
ooh, excuse me, now I'm really starting to feel the repercussions of making those decisions. Like, people are starting to not believe me, and that's not good. So, depending on what happens with Chapter 3, I gotta start being a little more open and honest, I think, because I'm gonna need people on my side, and I'm gonna need people to start believing me. I can't exactly take everybody to the diner like I did with Chloe and show them everything that's been going on and prove that I can rewind time. Even if I were to do that, I can only rewind time up to a certain point anyway. So I wouldn't be able to go back and redo all these things and prove to them that I'm actually telling the truth and that these things are what actually would happen. And plus, on top of it, what kind of repercussions am I going to see now that I've actually cut off the train from the lumberyard? Is there going to be any? I don't know. I feel like I'll probably screw the town over somehow. So there's a lot of stuff going on and like... We still have three more chapters to go through. We're not even halfway through the story, which is awesome. Like, I love these types of, of games. I think I'm going to do a lot more of these on my channel, too. Like, for as much as I love doing first-person shooters and things like that, I love having story-driven games. I like being able to have, you know, a commentary on what's going on and being able to actually, you know, you know share this type of stuff with you guys. It's, it's awesome. So yeah, maybe I'll look into other uh, games like this. Like, I know there are the Walking Dead ones. Borderlands has one. Uh, there are a couple more out there. So maybe they're worth looking into. If you guys like this series, which, based on the views that I have on them, you, you seem to, um, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like this series, if you like seeing these types of games, or what games you do like to see, or what you want to see me play. I'm looking for as much feedback as possible. I want you guys to enjoy this just as much as I do. So, anything you can tell me would, would help me either improve what I'm doing, or make things more enjoyable and more engaging for you guys, do not hesitate to let me know. I will be more than happy to listen to everything that you have to say. But, on that note, with the credits rolling and me having rambled on for, you know, a couple minutes, I think it's time to end this episode here. So, until Chapter 3 comes out, I'm going to be rotating back into uh, Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor, and once I have the opportunity to, I'm going to bring out more episodes for Life is Strange and keep going basically up until the end. See where everything takes us and see what, what real consequences our decisions will have for us. But yeah, having said all that, Thank you very much for sticking with me through Chapter 2, guys. I look forward to seeing you all in Chapter 3. So that being said, I will see you guys on the other side. Take care. All right, so I'm really glad I didn't shut off the video capture because I did that with Chapter 1 and didn't have a chance to show you guys this stuff. So let's get to this real quick. They do give a little breakdown of how things went when you actually finish through on the chapter. So let's see. Uh, me and 67%, I was among the 67% of people who told Kate to wait for more proof. Makes sense. Uh, 77% of us answered Kate's phone call. I was in the minority where I didn't try to shoot Frank. Uh, that's interesting. So most people would have shot him. Uh, the majority of us did end up saving Kate's life, but this is interesting. The fact that it does give an opportunity for Kate to die. So that could be a huge, that could make a huge impact in the game. Or maybe it could just be like, oh, well, now Kate's in the hospital, so she's just kind of removed from the story. You won't have to worry about her anymore. We'll find out. But very few people blamed David and Mr. Jefferson. I'm surprised anybody blamed Mr. Jefferson, but there you go. What can you do? Uh, Nathan seemed to be the popular scapegoat for everything. Let's see. Uh, out of time still. Actually, yeah, did, uh, we didn't water the plant, which, wow. I, yeah, like I said, I didn't explore the uh, the train too much, so... What can you do? Uh, you didn't water the plant. Uh, you didn't help Alyssa. Alyssa told me just to keep walking, like she was doing something or other. Whatever. You erased the link to Kate's video, which, wow, 6%. You 6% are very mean people. Shame on you. <laughs> uh, split down the middle for the most part with being friendly with Taylor. Accepted Warren's invitation. Uh, wrote a message. Oh, nice. Uh, wow, we were, we were really divided on who did and who didn't write messages on that. I'm definitely in the minority of people who tamper with the railroad tracks. Let's see if that ends up kicking me in the ass. Uh, wow, again, split a little bit on the gaining entry to the Vortex Club party, but if things are going on there, I want to know what, what's going on exactly. Uh, wow, I was in the minority with people who helped Warren, and I told on David to Mr. Jefferson with the majority of us. Fantastic. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. That's going to do it for this episode, though, guys. Like, this time definitively, I promise. Oh no, wait. Cutscene. 
Well, that's definitely me and Chloe. Chaos theory. That I'm guessing it was David that was chasing after us. So yeah, now, definitely, most definitively, we are done with chapter two. Promise you guys. Alrighty. Well, now chapter three is going to get a little more intense, it looks like. Well, not that it's not intense enough already. But, like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, this time for the last time, until the next episode, I will see you guys on the other side. Take care.